Hi, welcome back to Evolving Mail. So I've got this um, 5.4's uh, roof rack and it does take some lights and there's a lot of options you can do. I mean the really awesome lights are the uh, the um, rigid lights that go in there. They look pretty cool but I'm not spending $150 for a couple lights. I'm not, I mean if they're front facing lights and they're awesome I'm, I'm probably gonna do something nice there, something expensive anyway. But uh, I'm not doing that. I did get this box right here uh, of these lights from Amazon. I think there was like four of them for like $38 or something. So they will go right in there. But I, um, taken, I've taken the, um, take these screws out because they are real screws. Took them out. And I can bring you over here to my messy garage. When you come over here, screws come out. Um, if you're not careful, you will drop the glass on the ground, but I, and I did, but it didn't scratch it or break it. It is dirty. So I gotta clean this glass up. So it comes off, there's a, there's a, there's a, um, little, what do you call it, little seal there. Um, screws are right here. So I took those off, and I have them, I painted them, um, a red that matches the Jeep. I have found that the Rust-Oleum American Accents 2X Ultra Cover, uh, which I need more, the um, Gloss Apple Red does a fine job at matching since I find the actual spray in the uh, auto parts store yet um, of the uh, can uh, candy apple red. Oh my gosh. Of the um, firecracker red. So anyway, I'm going to paint, paint those and I'm going to let them dry overnight. Before I just did two to start with because I want to make sure because I had to buy eight lights I only need six I have two extras I figure I'll try two if I don't like it if it looks ghetto I, I won't keep up but I, I think I'm gonna like it I did paint these little pieces of metal in here put a little piece of metal in here drill a hole where am I drill a hole put it through there um, just to give it a little pop um, I figure a little bit of color is gonna make it look less like a work rack which is something I really don't like is having work racks um, because I mean, if you're working, that's great. But guys, if you got a work truck, I'm not downing you. But it's not a work truck, um, other than I drive it to work. So I want it to look a little less utilitarian and a little bit more off-road, cool, whatever. Uh, I am going to use it for what it's intended, but I just wanted to wanted it to look pretty good. So anyway, um, stay tuned. I'm going to uh, finish letting these dry, and we'll get these mounted, and we'll see what they look like. And then um, I'm going to do some more wiring. I'm going to do a pretty good job wiring this thing. I've got uh, some good idea how I'm going to do it. I've already got all the stuff I need. So stay tuned and uh, we'll see all that coming soon. Here on Evolving Mail. So back to the um, pulling out the lights. I'm just going to um, grab this little like number two I think it is. Loosen them up. Loosen them all up real quick. And then I can quickly pull out, quickly pull them out. It's one. Two. Three. See it's popping right up. Last one. Take the glass. Be careful, don't lose the glass. That's just nice and flat somewhere. And then I'm going to take some number 15 sandpaper. I'm just going to rough this up with number 1500 sandpaper, rather. Just give it a quick rough up. Just getting off any shine. 
give the paint a little something. The paint would probably stick to it otherwise, but just a small precaution. It hit the sides, the corners. Could wet sand it if you want, but I don't want to, so I'm not going to. I'm just gonna. You can probably do a little less grit than this, but this is what I had laying around for automotive sandpaper. Um, not that you have to use automotive, but it's what I had laying around for sandpaper, period. And I'm going to try to get the corners, get the edges. Just a little bit, and then just take some, just take a rag, wipe it off. Could use some. Uh, I normally have some uh, a can a bottle of uh, alcohol in here. I can't find it in this messy ass garage, and it is here. It's a whole bottle. I just used it the other day, but it's unknown location at the moment. So anyway, I'm just going to wipe it off. It's no big deal. I didn't take off a lot. Just a very light scuff. I don't know if you can see it. Very light scuff. Take off some of the shine. And I'm going to put it on my little palette right there. And I'm going to, I'm going to hit it with some spray. I'm going to take the other one apart and get them both ready. And then we're going to go. Okay, so I got a first coat of the red on there. And uh, we'll let it dry up and see how it comes out. I'll put another coat on there about a half an hour. Okay, so I've got my lights painted red, and they are going to go right in here like that. That's what they're going to look like. Take the camera up there, and that's what that is going to look like. So I'm going to um, get the hardware out, and then I can. Go ahead and, and mount both of those in there like that. So I think I like the look, and um, that's what I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go ahead and paint the rest of them. So hang tight. Okay, so I've got these, I've got these lights put in, but the problem is the bolts are too long, and I need to either cut them down or go get some shorter bolts because the way they have to install, I can't get can't get this between the body and in the clip there so kind of go to the store I got a couple more to take apart so we'll get those apart hi welcome back to evolving mail so I'm out here supposed to be uh, working on the uh, yard uh, and I kind of got stopped working on the um, truck I'm putting in the, uh, the red lights and I am uh, currently working on wiring stuff up and lo and behold um, my favorite Santa Claus came Amazon so got this box thought I'd just go ahead and do a quick look, look review or whatever let's see what we got here so I bought this on um, I bought this on uh, I don't know if this is backwards or not let me make this look front forward go forward I mean so I got this on um, Amazon I want to say it was like 80 bucks or something maybe 87 so universal six gang on off switch panel system so much like an s pod or something like that my my um overland didn't come with uh it didn't come with uh built-in switches so i have to buy some or make some so let's see what this baby's like <sighs> okay oh look at that opened right up had a nice little thing i guess um some directions Looks like some parts. Read those later. So I do see some neat stuff in here. So here is so here's the switch panel. Now if we go back to the front, you can actually see it. You can see it right here. So there's stickers, all different stickers for different different types of stuff that you might have. Um, let's see, they got looks like danger, zombie. Different stickers go on this little switch panel. This little switch panel mounts up on a dash. You hit the button, hit the button, and different things come on. It has a long, looks like a pretty long cable. I was really worried that cable wouldn't be very long. That cable looks pretty long. Pretty long cable there. 
Um, then it's got, looks like this cable goes to the, to the positive, and this one goes to the negative. I guess this can go anywhere. This thing's pretty cool. It really is pretty long. And then this cable looks like it goes out to that, and this is long. I mean, this thing is awesome. I was really scared I was going to get like a, a two foot worth of, worth of stuff. So this looks pretty cool. Looks like I got one, two, three, four, five, six. So you tell you which one's which. They're color coded. Um, and I've got some color coded wire. I'm going to run from wherever I mount this box inside this box, which is pretty sweet. So it's got one, two, three, four, five, and then six. I don't know why that one's bigger. I don't know how that works, but there's different relays. Um, there's 20 amp fuses and a 30. So it looks like this is probably 30, 20s, I don't know. Oh uh, no, it's a 40, 40, 40 amp. So these are a little bit bigger than that. But anyway, this this is gonna get installed on, up underneath the hood most likely. And then, um, then we take this wire and we'll run it back to the, uh, towards the um, cabin put this in the cab and run out through our favorite little hole, find a place to mount it. And then I'll run the cable from front to back. And yeah, I think this is going to work out pretty good. I could actually put this inside if I wanted to. I could put it under the seat. I could go all kinds of places. I don't know where I'm going to do it. I'm going to have to look for a good place to do that. Looks like there is a... Um, Looks like there's even, this is probably an always hot, so your switches are always lit up, I guess. I'll have to read through the directions, I suppose. But uh, anyway, I'm pretty stoked about this. I think this is going to be pretty nice. I'm doing a, I'm trying to do a bang up job uh, on doing this install. Um, everything's been soldered and heat shrunk. Um, back around here, and we'll look. You'll see I got a, uh, I got a little junction box that's made to go on a trailer. So the wires coming from those wires coming are all going to be routed through the through the frame of the uh, rack and then they're going to go into there with some uh, terminals ring terminals and they'll be mounted that way um, if I do need to get this thing off for some reason I don't have to cut all these wires or whatever I can take it off I can just disassemble from that panel and uh, okay so I've got the lights wired up see um, the wires are running through here Got one on the back see the lights all around I've got the uh, there's my box in here now it looks like it's a mess but this is because the box is only so big and I got a million wires run to it and I still have extras I've got two spares I've got spare wires coming in. I've got my cable coming in. My big thick cable right there coming in from underneath in the back. These wires are coming from on that side. So now I just got to cram them in there a little bit. Put the lid back on and uh, that's it. All packed up. Can't even tell it's there. It's black. Got a light looking back in here. Clean up my mess. I got two lights in the back. Two lights looking down that side. Two lights looking down this side. Now I just got to get them wired up and uh, we'll try them out. I'm on day 17 of being trapped on this island. Now I'm on a couple days into this and um, I've got the lights in the back all done, as you know. So what I've done, I've, I, I've taken the, the kit that I've got, I, um, it has a little bracket right here, and I've screwed it, I've taken the um, speaker cover off, I screwed it into there, because it's kind of unobtrusive, it's not into the leather, and I, if, if I change my mind, I can hide it. I ran the wire down, I took the handle off, take the side panel off, and I got the wire going down and out through the one little hole over here where you can go. Um, I'll show you on the other side, but up here, I've got the wire down. This little tweeter is not going not to affect this at all. So I'm just going to put this, pop this right back in like that. And then you've got the button functionality. It's 
holding up pretty good. I mean, you're not really going to push it like that anyway, I think. I think kind of more apt to just, because it's such a, it's a very long throw on that button. So I'm probably just going to reach up and grab it. It works good. You know what you're after. You, know, you can't abuse it or you're going to wreck it. Um, I'll put all this back together once I get it all tucked away. Then over here, down, if you look down here, there's a plug. There's a plug right down here. See the screwdriver? Right down there is a plug behind the booster. I've already got some wires coming out of it, so I drilled a hole through it, ran, ran a bigger wire through there, and this is this wire right here. Connects to that black wire in there. And then come over here. I've already, I've only got four wires hooked up so far back there. So I've got one, two, three, four. They're all numbered and colored. My, my cables have numbers. So five and six are not being used right now. I've got one through four being used. You just splice, you, you strip the wire, you stick it in there and you crimp it down. Now what I've got here is some, some waterproof electrical tape and I'm just going to waterproof. I'm going to waterproof all of these and I'm going to waterproof the two I'm not using for now. That way, when I want to use them, I can go in there and put them in there. I didn't want to wire them to the back because who knows? I may decide to put some something up front that needs to be used. And um, once I get these done, I have this giant long cable that's only got to go four inches. I'll, I'll wire it into there, wire this into a hot fuse, and then I'll wrap this up and get it nice, nice and good put away. And I'll show you what that looks like when I'm done, and we'll try the lights out. Let's show the box. Yeah, and there's there's the box. Now, I've showed this box before, so there's the. Uh, I don't want to do with the lid. Oh, there it is. So there's the box. It has the stuff in there. So I got to mount it right here once I'm all done. But I, right now I'm just trying to wire stuff in. Then I'll I'll put it away and I'll show you what that looks like when I'm done. What's that? What? That. This. Yeah. The waterproof electrical tape. Uh, see, I'm dumb. I don't know. Are you showing that? Are we still filming? Yeah. Ah, so, waterproof electrical tape. Cut a little two inch piece. I'm going to put it right there and I'm going to wrap it long ways. Making sure I'm pressing down. I'm just kind of running around like a little skirt. Skirt, skirt. Oh, nice geez. and tight. <laughs> okay, so, I've got everything more or less. Um, tucked away. I have a little add a fuse things in here. Um, I've got the their relay box here. The wires are up and around. Got everything as well taken care of as I sort of can. I guess I could do a little better job. I've got this sort of wrapped up and in here. I mean, at some point, there's just a lot of extra wire and stuff. So it is what it is. Um, I could shorten the wire up and do all that, but then what that does is like if I ever need to take the battery out, which I will someday, then you 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 can't get the battery out because you got these short wires and you got to cut wires. So I'd rather have extra wire in there. It's not hurting anything. It's tucked away. You don't even open up the hood very often. You know, I, the only time I open it up is to look at this beautiful thing. But um, that's tucked away. Uh, they're working, and I'll show you once it gets dark. I'll show you. I've got the panel back on here. The panel here back on. Um, that's in. I've got to put the stickers on. I haven't decided which ones. The only thing I don't like about this probably is the the goofy choice of stickers. I don't really love zombie and, and um, whatever. It's just sort of lame. I guess it's sort of cute, but it's lame. Um, anyway, I got to put I got to put this back on. This clip sort of. Let me see. Goes in this way. So nope, that's wrong. Let me see. Uh, yeah. So it goes in like that. Um, you just got to kind of get it in there. At some point, you just got to sort of force it a little bit. Um, oh, right there. See those? So this has to come off. That's why you don't force it too much. <laughs> I'll take this. Take that back off. I'm gonna stick this in there like that. That goes in there. Pop it in. Get rid of any little dust you got, right? Pop it in. Get my forever present dog hair off of it. 
when you have six dogs, you, you tend to have dog hair laying around. Got that in there. Then it gets two bolts, top and bottom. Put the bolts in like this. Maybe like that. Hold on a second. So, we get the bolt, bolts in like that. I had to pause it so I can get my hand back for a minute. Um, bolts, we tighten it down, top and bottom. So, got some of this done in the brakes. Final buttoning it up. Put the wrench in here like this. 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter deep well. And then the bottom. 10 millimeter deep well. Pop that in there. The hardest part about this whole thing, other than wiring up the stuff in the back, the hardest part about putting in this switch panel probably was finding the right fuse box to do. So now I've got this fuse thing. So. I don't know if it'll work. Just run it. Uh, yeah, so it came on. Let's see the. So the lights are working. We'll have to take a look at it when it's uh, all said and done. Anyway, uh, that's it for now. I'll be right back, and when it gets dark, we'll we'll go over it one more time. All right, thanks. Okay, so we got everything done so my panel came on and i'll leave a um i'll leave a link in the thing below i don't like the stickers i gotta find some aftermarket stickers so this is my my rear light this is my left that's my right and then my bed light here so i didn't really didn't really have what i would like so Where's gave it the finger? old finger for the uh the back oh my god so uh mosquitoes yeah all right, so we got the backlight and then the sides. Ah. So it's pretty bright. Yep, we stand out here as bright as crap. in the bed too that was my camera camera was a good idea so if you're back here getting something out of the bed you can see what you're doing so all in all I think it's pretty good pretty clean install spent a lot of time getting just perfect uh, mm -hmm. I'm actually pretty proud of it so yeah it looks good came out good and that's it guys and uh Thanks for uh, joining me here on Evolving Mail, where only I come outside in my pajamas to show you how my lights work. Anyway, so they work pretty good. The switch turns from uh, from uh, green to yellow when you turn them on. It's pretty pretty interesting, right? So as I as I turn them off, pretty good. I got them hooked up on the switch. But uh, anyway, thanks for checking me out. Please hit like and subscribe. And as always, keep coming back for more, and I'll be here to give it to you. See you guys later.